Next model is CR failure. So the CR failure, uh, in this case, we are not adding CR reinforcement. We are not uh, adding uh, strip wraps here. So uh, only button reinforcement. This button reinforcement is the same that we had in, in the last uh, over reinforced bending, but only just removing that. Here is the model. I'm going to plot vertical displacements versus load. Here we can see we have the same, more or less, a linear elastic behavior, and then suddenly failure due to this, this, these cracks. I'm going to plot the last point, see crackings, and what happens between this and the other. Well, I'm going to start plotting this one, and let's advance to see how cracks are developed. So well, I can go to an example, which is still in this linear behavior, more or less linear, and I'm going to plot crackings. I can plot cracks in x direction, y direction, or maximum and minimum. Well, I can see here, these are my cracks. And well, I'm going to just fix the range for not having a very to appreciate all the cracks. So well I have at this point some cracks but not, not very wide. Mainly here I can see some CR, CR cracks are higher than the bending ones, both sides, but they're still not too high. So I increase the load, advance to next step. Next step. As you can see cracks CR cracks are developed from following 45 degrees from support. Suddenly a huge crack is developed, so it means collapse at this point, which is this, this point here. And then we have some other steps that were solved, but well, you can see this is just a completely a collapse. So we could suppose this is the ultimate load for this model. I increase, you can see, well, now the crack is almost a, crossing on the model and that's, this is just converging because we have we still have some steel that is joining both parts, crossing from one point to one point to each other and then finally it doesn't converge. We can see could see also uh, Yaelin. So just if we compare with the real test, here you can see that CR cracks are developed, high CR cracks, and also we have the same type of behavior. Like vertical and suddenly uh, collapse. Crap, crap patterns are very similar between the, the real test and civil film. Here we can see the real test with the load versus deflection and just now pay attention to the CR cracks that are being developed. So just in videos we can see we start with bed, some bending cracks, bending cracks at the same time, then CR cracks are developed and collapse happens. Then, if we analyze the curve that is obtained with civil film, we can see that a deflection of between 6 and 8, around 7 and 40 kilonewtons, collapse happening, is happening just in, in the real test. It happens a little bit for the same load, about for higher load, about 45, overseas a little bit under 45, and also more or less the same behavior, but brittle crack, no utility with this. So we have finished this interesting video example. Uh, if you have uh, more questions, always stay tuned to the virtual classroom, to forums, and you can contact us by email as well. Thank you very much. See you in the free course.